my persuasive speech. Could you imagine getting abused, abandoned, and then even killed for doing absolutely nothing? Well, many animals get this done to them daily. First, let's talk about how many animals get abused. The number for abused animals are shocking. In most cases, they're not even on paper or reported. Even though there are no national reporting system for animal abuse, media reports can review animal cruelty in terms of the most common victims, horses, livestock, domestic violence, and legislative trends. The most common, though, are dogs, pit bull types in particular. Of 1,880 cases recorded in one year, 65.4%, which is 1,212, were dogs. 18%, which is 337, were cats. 25%, which is 470, were other animals. Pit bulls alone went from being 13% to 25% after six years. Horses haven't increased, and apparently neither has livestock. But livestock isn't recorded at all for the most part because they see it as they practice with these animals, which means you could be basically as mean as you want because it's not down on paper, and they're not going to know how mean you are or how many you're killing for these common agricultural practices. Now that I've explained the statistics of animal abuse, I'll tell you about the amount of animals that get euthanized. Oh my goodness. Well, since animal care and control agencies are not uniformly required to keep, keep statistics, which means like they don't even have to write down. So basically, if they wanted, they could kill more animals than what they're supposed to, and no one will know because they don't have to write down or do anything with these animals, basically. But the American Humane is one of the most is the founding members of the National Council on Pet Population Study and Policy. The mission of the National Council is to gather and analyze reliable data that further characterize the number, origin, and disposition of pets, mainly cats and dogs. Of 1,000 animal shelters that replied to the National Council survey, 4.3 million animals were handled. 56% of dogs and 71% of cats that into an animal shelter gets euthanized and they don't even have a chance of getting adopted or anything. And then only 15.8% of dogs and 2% of cats that enter the animal shelter are re reunited with their owners. 25% of dogs and 24% of cats that enter animal shelters get adopted. And it's estimated that 3.7 million animals were euthanized in the national shelters in one year alone. With all this said, so in conclusion, basically, I believe that people should go adopt from animal shelters instead of adopting from breeders. And I understand the fact that people think that adopting from an animal shelter, those animals are gonna be dangerous and probably bite and to be very aggressive. But nowadays, in reality, they have to take so many tests. And if they don't pass like one of like the many tests they have to take, they don't even have a chance of going into the rooms to where they could get seen for adoption. And they have absolutely no chance and they'll just die for people abusing them and not even attempting to take care of their animals. So if you get the chance and you're allowed, go adopt from animal shelters because breeders tend to not abuse their animals anyways. Thanks.